You that are come! Oh, for fuck's sake. You that are come this way now, move. See these rocks that I'm standing on? Do you want to know what they are? They're part of your old red sandstone group, right? But they're found up in the north east side of Scotland. Which is pretty cool because these same rocks are found in your Midland Valley. Now they're dipping that way at a slight angle, maybe 10, 15 degrees, which is pretty cool and awesome. But these, these are different from our rocks in our Midland Valley. These were deposited at once upon a time in a lake during the Devonian period 400 million years ago, right? Is that not mad that these rocks are 400 million years old? I think it's pretty mad, okay? You can see the individual grains of the sandstone if you look closely at it. And it's just cyclic layers of sandstone, siltstone and mudstone that were once deposited in a lake known as Lake Orcadia. Now back during the Devonian period in this area, you obviously had the mountain building that's in the central kind of highlands of Scotland and the Northwest Highlands. So you've got all your metamorphic rocks, your Dalradian supergroup and then your Moyne supergroup as well. And then in this area, you had the erosion, like all of the sediments that accumulated and came from those mountains. Because back then, once those two plates collided, you had this continent known as La Russia, which is known as well as the old red sandstone continent. So back then, Scotland was situated in the middle of this continent. We had mountains just south of us and also we had the deposition of all this sediment because there was a lot going on. These mountains were building, you had crystal thickening and because they're building quite quickly, they're eroding quite quickly as well. So it's a process, ongoing process. It's te sediments are coming down. There's not much vegetation either at this point. Like there's desert conditions. It's very arid at the size of this lake. And as well, the lake fluctuated. So the lake was thought to be 80 metres deep and it fluctuated. So the sea, the level saw the other lake kind of rose and then dropped and then rose and then dropped so on the outskirts of this lake you can find aeolian desert like sandstones that were deposited as, as well on the edges of this lake by winds but then in the lake because the subsidence of the lake was very high it was sinking very high because of the amount of sediment coming into it there's five kilometers worth of this stuff in this area just along the northeast coast and it's absolutely amazing to think that so i